So if you've ever used Hyper-V and virtual hard disks, created a dynamic disk, installed an operating system, and then maybe did some things uh, within the drive that expanded it, then reduced some things from that drive to find out that your virtual hard drive didn't expand down. It only dynamically expands up. Well, there's actually a way to fix that so that you can get back that valuable disk space that you're losing. Let me show you. So I have a Windows Server 2012 R2 machine up. It's brand new. Matter of fact, I'm using it to create a master disk image. And if you notice, I've gone ahead and installed the operating system. I've installed all the updates. And in that process, the virtual hard disk grew to 23 gigabytes in size. Now, what we're looking at here is the actual VHD file on my server. So if I right click here, go to properties, this is what we're looking at. Now, over in the operating system itself, I've gone ahead, I've run disk cleanup, I've gotten rid of all of the update files, everything I could, and it's reduced down to 15.1 gigs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this operating system. And we're gonna look at the settings within Hyper-V. So I'll shut that off completely. Here is my virtual hard, uh, my virtual machine, sorry, that we're talking about. I'm gonna right click, go to settings. I'm gonna click on the hard drive and I'm gonna choose inspect. So as you can see, 22.88, that's pretty close to the 23 gigs that I get when I run the properties on the actual VHD file. So let me go ahead and close those two, come back here and we're gonna choose edit. And at this point, I'll choose next and we're gonna compact this disk. Now, by compacting the disk, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be able to dynamically expand again. So we'll choose next and we'll choose finish. And at this point, it's gonna go ahead and run the compacting tool. <coughs> so although it quickly ran the tool, you'll notice that I didn't really gain any disk space at all. So let me show you how to make this work successfully. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll close out the property dialogs box, we'll close out the disk inspection, and we'll close out the settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire back up the server. Okay. So now that I've fired back up the server, I'm gonna simply open up File Explorer, right click on the C drive, go to Properties. And at this point, instead of doing a disk cleanup, which I've already done, I'm gonna go into Tools and I'm gonna optimize the drive from within the OS. So if you notice in this case, it's never run. Just for fun, we'll go ahead and analyze it. And we can see that we have 67% space efficiency. I'm gonna optimize that C drive so as you can see, it's enumerating the slabs and then it'll go ahead and consolidate them accordingly. So I'll go ahead and pause while it finishes this. So still have the same efficiency, but we'll go ahead and close this and we'll shut out of the server again. So we'll shut it down, right click, shut down, say okay. So now that it's shut down, we'll right click, we'll go back into settings. We'll go to the drive and again, we'll run the compact tool. Choose next, make sure it's on compact, choose next and choose finished. So as you can see, it's again running the compact tool. So we'll pause while it completes. All right, so now that it's run a second time, we'll go ahead and click inspect real quick. And you can see we're now at 18.79 gig. Coming over here, we can also see just by the size that it's been reduced, but let's go into properties. There we are, 18.7 gig. Hope this helps, take care.